The Happier Times. Cameroonian Indomitable Lions fans celebrating their teams after they defeated Egypt in the finals of the 2017 African Cup of Nations in Gabon in January. With the ultimate prize in hand, it appeared as if the country had finally weathered the storm. It was, however, the beginning of another crisis. The trouble-ridden Cameroonian Football Federation was dissolved. FIFA set up a normalization committee to run the federation after a prolonged leadership wrangle. Cameroon has always been in crisis, especially their football. If it is not the FECAFUT, which is the football governing body, it is the national team. And in most cases, whatever happened in FECAFUT also have its own effect on the national team. Their poor run at the FIFA Confederations Cup also exposed the team's soft underbelly. And after failing to qualify for the World Cup, the African champions have now parted ways with their national coach, Hugo Bruce. The Cameroon situation is that once they miss a target, the coach is always the victim. Don't forget, this is the same Hugo Bruce who led them from near obscurity to win the African Nations Cup early this year. And the moment he misses a target, they just have to uh, uh, I mean, uh, relieve him of his duty. But Cameroon's troubles are not unique. Many African countries have been in similar situation. But unlike others, experts say the stakes are just too high for Cameroon. With football federation elections due in February, the current situation has exposed the country to more pressure. But considering the fact that the same country will host the African Nations Cup in 2019, it is just very important that that normalization committee winds up fast for a proper uh, football organization to exist in Cameroon so that Africa will have a seamless uh, Africa Cup of Nations. As the five African World Cup finalists prepare for the FIFA World Cup in Russia in 2018, Cameroon will only have the lowly African Nation Championship to console itself with. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN.